Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Laura with Stitching with Laura. How's everybody doing? Hope everybody is having a great Sunday and a great weekend. Well today we are going to be working on this pretty little pink jobber. Yeah, it's a 40 by 40. Get that up out of my way. I don't need it anymore. And I'm starting with color number 718 pretty magenta or dark fuchsia color so what is everybody up to I didn't know if I got it too close or not close enough back it down just a tad bit sometimes it gets blurry if it gets real close what a morning. I had to run back to the laundromat because some of my clothes were still wet because I took them out too early like a crazy person. But there were so many people in there it was just like, I can't deal with all this. And I'm not going to stand here and fold all this. So I waited till la late last night and went to fold it and part of it was still wet. So I just ran to the laundromat this morning, dumped the trash on the way. You know, exciting life crap, I'm telling you. It just keeps me on the edge of my seat. Mm hmm Not. So, yeah. And I got two games today, so... It ought to be a really good day. We'll see. We will see. Oh. But I do need a drink of coffee. Oh, I got my lid backwards. I use this thing all the time. Thank you so much, Ruth. It's my favorite, favorite thing. Yeah. And it keeps my... I, mean, I really want to know where it was in the summer because, you know, it would have kept the flies out. But we had two flies yesterday. They are no longer existing on this planet. Because I was like way over the stupid flies. So they left. And today I got the door open again because it's going to get to 60 some degrees. So yay. I don't think my heater ran all day yesterday. It was about a consistent 74. I mean it wasn't hot enough to turn on the air conditioning or anything silly like that. Thank goodness. I hope I'm done with that for the rest of the year. So... What fun, what fun. We're going to just sit down and relax the rest of the day, pretty much. This looks like it's going to be fairly easy to, to do. I mean, things are in strips and, you know, like there's a whole section of that and that. And then it just kind of goes on from there. And there's a, a little bit of confetti up in here. I think there's different shades of... Uh, this pink, pink, purple. Yeah, there's some purple in there. Like a light purple. I don't know what color that is. Number two is 209. I don't believe I've ever used that number. Ever. That I can remember. But it looks easy enough to to work on. I have one in a diamond painting kind of like that, but I don't think it was pink. I think it was some other shade, like, not shade, but other color. I don't remember. It seems like it was green for some reason with the, the rocks all stacked up. It was a small diamond painting, probably 30 by 30, maybe. Maybe even smaller? I don't know. I don't know if I finished that one or if I even started it, but 
I do have it. Oh, goodness gracious. I worked on the tiger last night. and I was trying to do the... There was a red and a, a pink. And, oh, my God, my eyes. And there's red, pink, and orange all together. And I could... I'm going to have to do it during daylight. I could not see it for nothing. So I worked on a different section here and there. And then I just got tired of stitching. I was kind of done. Now, this canvas... It's thick and stiff, but I'm not having a problem getting through it. Some of the big ones I have the worst time with. Ah! It came undone. And of course, oh, it's like, of course, I put all my, what do you call it, needle threaders away. There was about four of them sitting on here, and I thought, well, I'll just put them away and get them out one by one again. There we go. It works so well. Move my scissors, because heaven knows I'll probably knock them off. <sighs> so that was all I had to do today, was get out the trash and dry the clothes. Got them all folded and put away. God, I'm such a good kid. And I still had time to make a video. woo -hoo. Oh, goodness. I made, uh, after I got done with the live, I made a 12-quart batch of green chili that I said I was going to make. And then I had to make room to make the I fried up hamburger with cumin and garlic and salt, pepper and seasoned salt. I call it my taco meat. Did that. And then I made beef enchiladas with all that, well, not all of it, with most of that beef. I don't need that right there. It's just too much. Some days. Get everything out of my freeway. I don't have enough to thread here. So we're just going to tie a knot. And get us another piece. Because nobody's going to see my back. They won't care one bit. Oh, you know, there will be those a hundred years from now. Look at how horrible her back looks. Yeah. I won't care. I'll be gone. Gone from this world and not caring. So, let's see. Oh, so I made that, and then I had to make the enchiladas. Put that in the oven for a half an hour, so... It was probably close to 7 o'clock before I got to eat. But I got it all done. And today I'll have to bag up all the green chili and put it in the freezer. So I'll have my stash for the winter. I like to do it when it's cooler outside, not in the middle of summer. Very rarely do I make green chili in the, the summer. It just goes better in the fall. But I'm glad I got it done. And I won't have to make any more probably until, oh, January or so. When I see another roast on sale, I'll uh, get it and cook it up in the crock pot. Make my pulled pork. I get two meals out of that. Pulled pork and then, well, not two, but a little bit more than that. Then I'll have the pork all done for the green chili. And, of course, when I cook that pork, you know, and I was separating it out a little bit for the pulled pork, I put all that um, other pork into a gallon Ziploc bag, got the air out of it, put it in the freezer. Yeah, it was froze solid, so it didn't take long to defrost, though. I had to use it that way yesterday and then pour all my ingredients together, but it sure makes it easy when you don't have to make the green chili at the end of the day. I like making my pork ahead of time, and I only do one big, huge pork roast at a time. Make the green chili, and then go on. It doesn't stay in the freezer long. The stuff that I make for pulled pork stays in there longer than anything else. But usually I'm about ready to 
to make it within a couple of days, but I just didn't want it to go bad. Fun times, but it's just something that I do. This thread is nice, and it's not even a name brand. I don't know. There's no no name brand on that. Hmm. It just says VIP 058. And it's only got 20 colors, so we're just styling. I do like working with these pinks. Now, that one, the what is it called? Cherry Blossom? Isn't that what it's called? Cherry Blossom? I don't know that it's a Joy Sunday or... I don't know who made it. I got it from Amazon. So I can't remember who made the... I gotta get my coffee. Um, who made that kit? But that pink, there was some shade of pink or light white or pale, pale, pale pink that, oh my god, it would not lay down and it was just kinked up. So I mean, I'd have to have a little different game plan. I've never had to change out the DMC, but that one's running real close as to, uh, yeah, getting redone. really a pretty day today there's not no wind there's sunshine and we can go with this for a while you know always has to snow and rear its ugly head you know like once right before you actually get to winter yeah that that's what it did last week just kind of a warning okay everybody get your act together because it's going to really snow here soon so, everybody does their thing. But, yeah. I didn't even look at the weather for the rest of the week, so I have no idea what it is going to do. Isn't that terrible? There's a lot of this color. It sure is pretty. I like the different shades of pinks and purples and blues when they combine them together in a picture. And I really don't even care what the picture looks like. It just looks pretty in the end. I like to see all the, the shading and stuff. So I gotta go to work and I only work ten to five tomorrow. Woohoo! We're down to seven hour days. Yay! And I'm especially looking forward to it on Tuesdays and Wednesdays when I get out of there at nine instead of ten o'clock. Been waiting for this all summer long. We'll see how it goes. I did it again. I get it so short, I can't get it back in the needle. I'd look and see if my thimble was still there. Can't lose my thimble. I've had that thimble probably 10 years. Oh, my daughter, she called. She was so upset. She had a Christmas cactus she's had for 10 years. And she put it outside in the summertime. 
So to get some sunshine and some nice weather, everything was going great. Yeah, it froze. I think it's it's gone to Guinea. I'm not real sure. I, I don't know anything about Christmas cactuses. My uh, late boyfriend had, um, his mother had Christmas cactuses. And they were huge. I mean, they were in pots that were probably two feet around inside the house and they kind of leaned against the the glass window because they had those long glass windows and that's where it stayed and it just kind of consumed the corner if you will where those two glass windows in the what do you call it sliding door worked and so it never got to go outside but it liked it inside and it was in the front room where they had a, a fireplace goodness so yeah I don't know if she's going to try to see if she can find another one but she's had that thing ever since my uh, middle no my oldest grandson's was born yeah so yeah it died I don't know does anybody know how to raise Christmas cactuses from the dead Or have any ideas I know I don't I don't have have never had that many plants and every time I go to put stuff out in the garden it gets killed by what do you call it um, hail around here I mean I did okay in Kansas that worked really well because they got lots of rain but Oops, wrong thing. And I just started in the upper right hand corner of this. So it'll be pretty easy to make some kind of progress on it. Maybe I'll stitch on it today. Not that I'm tired of my tiger. I like my tiger. I just like to get his face done. Always something. And this is an 11 count, so it goes pretty fast. skin seems to be dry this week. I don't know why. It's not like it's been hot and dry. I haven't had any rain or snow since the beginning of last week there somewhere where it was so horrible with weather. getting there guys I think I lost one of my threads over here when I laid that down on top of it all
See, I like the little skinny big parts, you know, wide parts that aren't confetti. But those big areas, holy cow, it just takes me a hot moment. And it just cannot, like I said, it about puts me to sleep. Can't handle it. All right. Well, we got that done. Let me see where we're at here. We got a few more minutes. Let me see if I can find that. Hold that there. Maybe not. Did I really stitch all four of them? Holy cow. Well, that was fast. Whoa. Come back here, needle. Put that needle where it needs to be. <sighs> Maybe. Come on. Get there. I'm usually trying to put the, the eye in first. All right. This is a pretty color. It's 154. I always did love that color in diamond painting. I haven't used it too much. You know, for just regular cross stitch. It's beautiful. It's really close to 550, except it's got more red in it. It's like a red violet. Oh, come on. <coughs> okay, another. there. Molly. Yeah, the door's open, so she's sitting on the pork porch. Sitting on the pork. Sitting on the porch, looking over her big domain, you know. What she thinks is her big domain. She's a yapping. Since there's not a lot of confetti, this might not take too long to stitch if I just stick with it, but that never happens. Oh dear, this color's kind of dark. Look, uh, hopefully I can see where to put the dark purple. We've got navy and dark purple. I see purple, but I don't see any. Or maybe that's black. No. 3863, three, that's a white. Maybe that's a white. Oh no, that's weird. Why did they do that? Strange. Boy, that's going to be hard to. Oh, well, here's a black. Okay. Must not have too much of that black one. It's 3863, three, so that's not too far off from white. Maybe it's a pale pink. I don't know. Molly! Yeah, you can come in now. You're just making too much noise. Maybe I'll go and do the black first. Let me see. Number 19. 18. No, it's a tan. It's that tan right there, but there's only two threads of it. So there's very... Will you get in? Please? Yeah, they have a right to come home. Neighbors. And then that purple one is number eight, which is another color of, here we go. It's that lovely, more magenta, magenta. There's like three different shades of that magenta right there. Can you see that? 
All right, guys. Well, I think that's going to be about it for today. Put that right there. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty. All right. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And please hit the bell. And that way you'll know when my next video comes out. Stay safe, stay healthy, and we will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye. Keep stitching.